Today we're going to learn about Inspiration 7.5. Basically, how to get started with this program. The major bonus of 7.5 over 7 is the ability to export directly into Microsoft Word. This you can create a total outline, basically in a matter of minutes, that's editable in Microsoft Word. So to get started, you want to go to the Novell window and click on Inspiration 7.5. And then I guess wait. There we go. And it's going to launch this, which runs quickly. And there we go. Okay. When it opens up, it always, generally I was going to open to a blank, empty page like this. They can look a little scary and intimidating at first. But we're going to use it the easy way today. On the upper left hand corner, we're going to go to the word File. Click on the word File to give you the drop down menu. Then open Template. Here it's going to give you a long list of different content areas, such as language arts. Planning, Science, Social Studies, Thinking Skills, and Basic. Today we'll go to Social Studies and double click. And then again, it's going to give us a long list of different templates it comes with. Today we're going to, going to stick with the top one Article Comparison. Double click. It'll take a few seconds to launch and lay everything out. And here we go. Very simple, very easy. What I'm, all I'm going to do is one, I could read the directions and figure out what to do. So if you give this assignment to a student, even after you explain it, there's further instructions on the screen on what to do. They don't have to know anything other than click and type. So for my subjects, I'm going to click, I'm going to highlight that, and put um, Civil War. So what I'm going to do is over here, title, I'm going to say, I'm just going to click on it to expand it. Then I can just delete. I'm going to make up some titles. Civil War in St. Louis. And they could say the focus of the article. After you read it, you could just go ahead and type in the focus of the uh, article. Say it was um, effects of the war in St. Lewis, Missouri. So and then on, and so on. So then you can go over here and fill in the title of this one, and this one, and etc. So at the very end, they could say which article do you find most convincing. So it could be potentially in for and against um, the Civil War, uh, maybe directly impacting St. Louis or Missouri, something like that. So when the the students are finished filling all this out. They have a great graph on showing um, how they've organized their information. Now, here comes the powerful part. In the upper left-hand corner, you can click on the word File, Transfer to Word Processor. Oh, it'll prompt us that oh, we have to save it first, which is great because a lot of times our kids forget to save, so we click OK. Like, and it just took my title here, Civil War. I'm just going to put in the word sample. So here we go. I saved it under my documents or wherever they need to save it. Now it's exporting to Microsoft Word. Now that it's in Word, move this out of the way. I'm going to. Here's our graph that we created in Inspiration. And then here we go. It's just going to take each piece and organize it for us. Now, I can go back in here and say, um, say, take this piece out that I wrote before. Uh, he thinks that, blah, blah, blah. And you can just go ahead and edit it. From here, then we can print it out. And we have our format all ready to go. We can also open a new Word document and continue to work. So we have this layout here, and then our new document is where we write our fresh page. This, I think, personally, directly links into the student 
tools that come with Microsoft Office. I have another video on the wiki about it, but if you look over up at the top, we have student tools here. We can take all this information we laid out here and it can directly go into the tools, which gives us a very easy checkoff list on how to write the paper. So that's Inspiration 7.5.